Hey guys, I'm Venomous with Explore XR. Thanks for dropping by. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can become a VTuber. So let's talk about how it works. And at a high level, we're talking about four key steps. And the first step, I'm gonna assume that you already know how to do or you're capable of doing on your own, uh, which is creating an avatar with Ready Player Me. The second step is taking that avatar from Ready Player Me, importing it into Unity, making some tweaks to the avatar to make sure that uh, it's got facial expressions and then exporting it into the VRM format. Once we have a VRM file, we're going to import that into VC face. We're going to uh, configure VC face to use your webcam to read your the, the facial expressions of your real face to translate those into the avatar. And then once that's done, we're going to create a scene with an OBS studio that links thing, everything together. So as you see here, uh, I created a VR chat avatar within Ready Player Me, and I'm able to download the file as an FBX file. Uh, I find that an FBX file is super simple to import into Unity, so that's the only reason uh, I did it this way. So once downloaded, I'm gonna name the file something easy for me to remember. Um, you know, in this particular case, I chose avatar-ven. Then I'm gonna go to the uh, Uni um, VRM website, and I'm going to download the Unity package there. And the third thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the VC Face website. I'm going to download VC Face. All right, I'm going to uh, extract VC Face, and I'm going to choose a different folder for myself. I'm actually going to choose a different drive altogether. I'm going to extract that to the E drive. And there's my VC face folder, and that's where my application is gonna live. Next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open Unity, and I'm gonna create a new project. So I'm gonna name it something that I can remember it with. Okay, and now that I have a project, I'm gonna uh, import a custom package. I'm gonna go back down to my downloads folder, and I'm gonna import that UniVRM Unity package. Accept all. Close. Now I have, if you look at the top bar, I have Uni, I have VRM0 up there, which is great. That, that next I'm gonna import my avatar. Beautiful. I'm gonna click on it. Then I'm going to hit the checkbox that says Legacy Blunt Shapes. Under the Model tab, hit Apply. Then I'm gonna click on Rig. I'm gonna change the animation type to Humanoid and I'm gonna hit Apply here as well. And then I'm gonna go into Materials. And I'm gonna extract my textures. Create a new folder, call it Textures, if I can type properly. Can't type. I don't know why I can't type, can't type. Oh. Right, select folder. I'm gonna do the same thing for materials. Ready in my handy dandy materials folder. Select, boom. Step number one done. and drag it into the scene itself. All right, so now I am going to export to the VRM format. And uh, there's three fields that are required, so I gotta give it a name, or title, assign a version to it, it's give it my name, export. I'm gonna export it straight into the same folder that, I've, uh, that I'm using for my project. And uh, then I'm going to actually import it back in. Save here. Same deal. And now you're going to see several different folders have appeared and another version of the avatar is there. So I'm going to delete this avatar that I have within the project itself or in the scene itself. I'm going to drag in the new file. And this is where now I get to assign facial expressions. So I'm gonna to go to 
blend shape avatar. You can just double click down there on blend shape or click it. If you direct your attention to the right hand side here, um, you're gonna see uh, select blend shape clip, okay? And this is important because this is how we're gonna assign facial expressions to the avatar. So I'm gonna leave neutral by itself and I'm gonna select A, I'm gonna expand the Wolf 3D avatar thingamabob there and I'm gonna set Biseam AA to 100%. I'm gonna do the same thing for I, by seeing I, 100%. You, you get, you're, you get the idea here. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna export one more time. This time everything's filled in for me. And I'm gonna save this one down to the downloads folder because this is the one that I'm gonna use within VC Fix. All right, and we are done with Unity. All right, so now I'm gonna swap back to the VC Face folder and launch VC Face. And the very first time that you launch it, you're gonna see this tutorial on how to uh, create trans transparency within uh, OBS or Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, I'm gonna be using a different method, but if this is a method that you wanna utilize, I completely will support you. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna choose my camera, my webcam. Set this to 1920 by 1080. Choose my mic. Next, I'm gonna add the avatar that I just created, the VRM file, right? Avatar-ven.vrm. Make sure that you click on the v on the uh, avatar there and hit start. And there it is. There's my avatar. This is me testing it out, moving my mouth around. So if I go into settings, general, um, Change the expression detection to simple. It'll do a, an okay job there, trying to map you to uh, map your uh, facial expressions. Then you want to uh, enable streaming or, or enable virtual camera for the session. Um, you just went through the installation process of the driver there, and then download a green screen um, image, which is what I did here. Just did a Google for green screen. And then swap over to OBS, create a new scene. I'm calling mine VTuber. Gonna add uh, a display capture source. I already have one for my second monitor. I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna uh, select a video capture device. This particular uh, one's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, this is gonna be for my, v for my VTuber. And here I'm gonna select the VC face camera okay so there we go there's there's my my vtuber uh, but there's a problem we got that green background well no problem here we can go into chroma key enable that beautiful now i have a vtuber there i am i'm venomous and i am a vtuber now yay boom there you have it all right everybody Really appreciate you again dropping in. Uh, make sure that if uh, you found this video to be helpful, click a th give me a, a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and I will see you next time.